Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight we're gonna to talk a little bit about our Synology and VPN. Did you know that your Synology can be a VPN server? It can, it can do PPTP, OpenVPN or L2TP IPsec. So let's hop on over and take a look at configuring that. Okay, so we logged into our Synology and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Package Center and we've got all packages here. We're gonna scroll down or you could search for VPN. I like looking at all the packages. There's so many neat things uh, that your Synology can do. So here's a VPN server. We're gonna go ahead and click install on that. It's gonna download and install. Shouldn't take too long here. Now, in addition to the VPN software, you're gonna to have to port forward from your router to your Synology, and we're gonna go over those settings in just a minute. All right, our VPN server is installed, so you can open it from here, or it will have created a new icon here under our application, so we can click on that. And you can see here, it's got PPTP, which I don't recommend that you use. I recommend you either use OpenVPN or the L2TP IPsec. Uh, PPTP is kind of weak when it comes to, to VPN. So, and I think it might have actually been depreciated. If you know that, put it in the comments. Here's a connection list that people were connected. Got our log, our general settings. So here we wanna make sure it's on the proper network interface. Here for us it is as LAN one. Here the account types are gonna be local users. You could, if you had your Synology set up uh, with Active Directory or joined to your Active Directory server, you could authenticate against Active Directory for your users so you don't have to set them up on the Synology. Here's the uh, privileges so you can see that my WHOW account has access and can use all three of these VPN types. Now, here are the VPN setups. So PPTP, OpenVPN, L2TP, IPsec. To, to enable the PPT, PPTP server, you check this box and you click apply. That's it, done. OpenVPN kind of the same way. We will enable it. It creates a network specifically for OpenVPN and it can route around you know inside of your network if you've got it set up properly. Now it'll it should use the um, Synology to get in and out of the network because this this actually exists on the Synology so it's a little internal network adapter on the Synology and it interacts with that main uh, network interface. And it says here, allow clients to access servers LAN, right here. So if you want clients to access the servers LAN, you're gonna check that box. We're gonna hit apply. And it, it warns us, please check the port forwarding and firewall settings on your disk station and router to make sure the UDP port 1194 is open. We'll click OK. And then here you can export the configuration. Now, this configuration, it's gonna have the certificate that you need and it's gonna have the information about your server. So once you have this, there's an additional step when you're installing, the, installing it on the client where you have to go in and you have to edit the file. We'll take a look at this real quick. And then you have to put in your, um, you have to put in your external IP address or your fully qualified domain name that's going to forward you know, to that to your firewall to forward those ports through to the Synology. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. L2TP IPsec, same thing. It creates that internal um, network. Here you're going to, uh, I would leave the uh, CHAP version two, but here this is where you're going to set a pre-shared key. Now with VPNs on the pre-shared key, the pre-shared key is something that all of your users share. That's the only thing that your users have in common is that pre-shared key, and then their username and password should be unique to them. And then you can enable uh, SHA-2 256 compatible mode, 
we're going to go ahead and click apply. I don't know if this is going to warn us about ports. So it does. So it comes up and it says, make sure the UDP port 1701 500 and 4500 is open. And then we, I'm going to pull up that open VPN config. We're going to look at that. And then we're going to look at our ports and our firewalls. All right. So we have the files extracted from the zip. And inside, then this is for the open VPN. And inside we have the certificate, we have the VPN config.ovpn file, and then we have this README. So if you open the README, it tells you to it tells you where to go out, get the open VPN client and install it. It also tells you where the default installation directory is. You're gonna run the open VPN GUI as administrator, and then you're gonna edit the VPN config.ovpn and replace your server IP with the public IP of your firewall since we're doing port forwarding or your fully qualified domain name if you have one that points to that. These instructions are very simple. Very, very simple. So let's take a look at what the OpenVPN file actually looks like. So right here, Here's the line, remote, your server IP, and then it's got the port right here where it says your server IP, this is where you're going to change this to your fully qualified domain name or your external IP address. Once you do that, you save it, you're done. Follow the rest of the instructions, and that's it. So let's take a look at the ports that are needed for each of these VPNs. So for op OpenVPN, we only need 1194 UDP. For IPsec, typically you need ESP, which is IP protocol 50. You need 500 UDP, which is IKE, 1701 UDP, which is L2TP, and 4500 UDP, which is NAT T or NAT. For PPTP, you need 1723 TCP and typically GRE, which is IP protocol 47. So, uh, but the Synology, it interestingly enough, did not tell us to do ESP protocol 50. So we do this when we do edge routers. So that's where I pulled this list from, but Synology doesn't want that. So if we were in our router, we would come over here to port forwarding and we would add a rule and we would just use these ports. We would do uh, 500 UDP. So it would be 500. Actually, let's just do the, let's just do the open VPN, which is 1194 UDP. So it'd be 1194 and it would be UDP. And then this would be 192.168.66.7 and 1194. And we're gonna call this open VPN and apply and now the port forwarding is done and my I've edited the file so now I could go out into the world and I could commit connect back to this server it really is it really is this easy so if you have a Synology and you don't want to burden your router with the VPN the Synology handles this thing like a champ so you know uh, you can at least play around with it experiment with it so go out download it configure it and, you know, let me know in the comments how it's working out for you. All right, so that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, head on over to h5llc.com. Fill out that contact form and somebody will be in touch with you. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. While you're over there, sign up for our newsletter. You can also join us on Discord and ask questions live. And if you want to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, we do have our Amazon link down below. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.